Hello, this is Fred from Online Marketing Dojo, and I wanted to do a video today to show you about a piece of software called Curation Soft. But before I do that, I want to wish you a happy Halloween. Now, it's only September 18th, but I'm already kind of in the uh, Halloween spirit. And uh, I did a post on one of my sites uh, about the origins of Halloween that was put together using Curation Soft. Now, Curation Soft is a piece of software that kind of helps with the curation model of blogging. And if you're not familiar with that, in essence, it's short posts, but with links to a lot of helpful information. So the whole intent is to minimize the amount of time and energy it takes for you to blog. And it maximizes on the amount of value that you give to the people that are coming to read your posts. And so in this case, what I did was, uh, again, obviously this post here is about the origins of Halloween. And I wrote this paragraph here, uh, which is just the opener. And using Curation Soft, I found a bunch of other information that I put into the post that will help the visitor get information about the origin of Halloween. And so here's a video that it, it pulled from YouTube. And I just included three different uh, blog posts from various places uh, across the internet that Curation saw found for me and uh, pulled it into the post directly itself. So it didn't take very long. Uh, I think all in all, you know, the longest amount of time that it takes is, is just looking at these particular sources uh, to make sure that there's good information there. And once you check that out, it's really just dragging and dropping that information into your blog um, and cleaning it up however you want. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. So this is the end post. Now, in a second here, I'll go in and show you how I put this together. So hold on just a second. All right. So now we're inside of the blog right now, inside of the dashboard area. Well, not the dashboard. I'm about to create a new post. And so what I did, uh, I'm just going to, in essence, recreate the post that I just showed you. So I've uh, already typed in, uh, copied and pasted the paragraph that I've already done. And this particular link here, I just linked that directly over to Wikipedia. I'm not going to go into why that's a cool thing at this moment, but uh, I linked that over to Wikipedia manually. Now, I uh, already put the title in as Halloween Origins just to, so that it's not the same. And I'm not going to save this post because, again, I already posted uh, this live onto the site. So I'm not going to do it again. Now I'm going to click over to this HTML section and you'll see why I'm going to do this in just a moment. And so let me go ahead and pull over Curation Soft. I already have it opened up. Uh, and as you can see, it's a very basic interface, uh, very sleek. Uh, there's not a whole lot you have to do except for a couple of things. One is going to uh, ask you to punch in your search phrase. And as you see, I already got have Halloween Origins in here and uh, what source that you want to bring information from. Now there's several different sources here and you can see there's the Google blog search, Google News, Twitter, YouTube, and Flickr for images. And I'm going to do this search on using the Google blog search. And that quickly you see how fast it went out and did a search on and found a bunch of information that contained the keyword phrase that I am looking for. Now within that you, it has information on in the title of the post itself, uh, a snippet of information from the actual uh, post, when it was published, and uh, a raw URL link to that post as well. Now, if you look down here, it says it found 1.8 million different results <laughs> uh, for Halloween Origins. So obviously we're not going to go through that many, um, but right now I have this set so it shows the first 25, well, it shows 25 different uh, blog posts per page. And so if I wanted to look at the other ones, all I have to do is just scroll right on down the list. Now, I'm not going to pick the exact same ones that I did before, but I'm just going to show you how cool this is once uh, you found something that uh, works well for you. And real quick, I'm going to click this little button here because it is going to dock it to the right side of my screen. And now let me go back to the blog itself. And let me just hit enter. You don't have to do this, but I just have a habit of doing that. And then you bring this back up. So let's say, for instance, um, you know, first, if I wanted to, if I wanted to take a look at this first listing here, I'll go ahead and click on the title. And it's just going to open up a new tab on your browser so you can kind of take a look at what the article is talking about and see if there's something that you want your readers to see. 
So all you do is just click again, is just click on those titles, and it will take you right there. Now let's say, for instance, if I did like that particular one and I wanted to uh, put some information on that in the post, what you can do here in Curation Solve is just drag and drop everything right in. Oops, let me bring this over here. Uh, drag and drop everything right within the window. And so all I'm going to do is click on the middle of the listing and drag it over to the blog. And so what you'll see what will happen is that it's already formatted. Uh, you see the paragraph tags. It's going to be formatted in the exact same way that you saw here on the, uh, the screen. So let me go back over to the blog. I'll go to the visual editor so you can see how this puts it in. And so here is a, the title that was within Curation Solve. Here's that snippet. Here's the raw URL and the publish date. Now, if you don't want some of this other information, which I really don't want uh, for myself, I would just go ahead and manually delete that. And so let me go back over to the HTML section. And I'll just pull in the second one. And again, just click and drag. It drops right on in. And I can clean that up as well. All right, so now let's say uh, those are out the way, and now I want to add a video. So I'm going to go back to Curation Soft and uh, select from the drop down and choose YouTube this time. And you'll see it's going to bring in a bunch of videos. Now, if you remember the post that I just did, that uh, this particular Rocket Boom video is the video that I use. So I'm just going to use it again. And you go back over to HTML. Go back to Curation Solve, click and drag towards the bottom. If I go back to YouTube, I mean uh, to the visual editor, now we'll see the video is embedded in there as well. Now, same kind of thing here. You can clean this up a little bit. If you didn't want to have some of these other things uh, listed uh, description-wise for the video, you can take it out. So on and so forth. But uh, that is uh, pretty much it for uh, choosing that. Now, if I wanted to, I can add image, have to do an image search, what have you. Um, but I think you pretty much get the point. It's pretty easy to use, pretty straightforward, especially since uh, you just punch in a keyword phrase, uh, click enter, or uh, click go or hit enter. It brings up a bunch of stuff. You take a look at it, see if you want to add it. And if you do, you just make sure you're in your HTML editor and simply drag and drop what you want to have in the post and that's it and now you have a, a post that is going to be interesting for the reader who's come by and taking a look at your post you didn't have to spend a whole lot of time trying to recreate all this information yourself you give some link love to some other bloggers who have already done a good job of consolidating the information um, and uh, Google's going to love you because you are looking, you are appearing to be to them as an information hub that's uh, sending people to very good resources uh, outside of your own site. So it's kind of a win-win-win situation. Uh, so if you're interested in Curation Solve, uh, at the time I was shooting this, it's like 37 bucks or something like that. So it's you know it's extremely extremely cost effective, uh, considering all the time that it saves you and uh, the ability for you to find a lot of information with just literally a couple clicks of, uh, of the mouse here. So uh, that is it for now. Uh, there is going to be a link beneath this video that you can click on to go take a look at Curation Soft in, to, in more detail. But I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And as usual, look out for more tutorials and uh, information in the future. Take care.